Hello, welcome to our new show, Destination South Africa, where the kids are in charge. I'm Ollie and this is Sam. Coming up on today's show. Who's got the bottle with a bottle with our new competition, the Guzzler? Plus, Bish Bash Bosh, yummy World Cup recipes that you can make at home in seconds. And then we catch up with our new best friends in South Africa. First up, it's World Cup news. Today, the England squad has finally been announced. Here it is. Wonder who will be playing up front with Rooney. I think it should be me to be Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, you can send your suggestion to us here at Destination South Africa. Who should play up front with him and why they should. But it's bad news for England. Rio Ferdinand is out of the World Cup side. Steven Gerrard will take over his captain's role. And Michael Dawson is being flown out to make the team. Next up on the show is our new friends in South Africa. We have teamed up with Redham House Secondary School in South Africa for the duration of the World Cup. Here's, Here's a quick introduction. introduction. That was my line. No, it wasn't. Okay. Hi, Ollie and Sam. I'm David Watkins. I'm here at Redham. Excited. I'm going to watch the England Algeria game. And I really think England have a shot of winning this World Cup. Hi, Ollie and Sam. I'm Liam Fodder. I'm going to watch the France Uruguay game and the Cameroon Netherlands game. And I'm supporting Spain in this World Cup, and I think they will win the World Cup. Sam, I'm Robert Jordan, and uh, we're, we're really excited for, the, for this World Cup. I'm supporting England. Uh, I'm going to the England Algeria game later on. Uh, I, I really believe that England can win this World Cup. My favourite team is Chelsea Football Club and my favourite player is Michael Ballack. I support Fana Bufana as my local team, Fana meaning in Flanders. I've also just learned how to grow them from Brazilian and this is what it sounds like. Wait. <laughs> I don't have Joe from his members either. Yeah, well, they might be banned. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, the atmosphere look great anyway. Yeah, I know. They look pretty awesome to me. Coming up, we show you the wag, but can you guess the England player? And then we have some yummy yummy food with bish bash bosh that you can make at home. Today is South Africa. Time now for World Cup wag. Every week we feature a wag. All you have to do is guess their England man. Roll the tape. Welcome to Guess the Wag. The first footballer is Liverpool legend. He plays in midfield. His initials are S and G and they have two wonderful daughters. Did you guess the wag? Holly didn't. Do you think you know? Then send it to this address. Every week on Destination South Africa, we will show you World Cup food that you can make at home. Obviously the World Cup is in South Africa. So today, we have a beautiful South African smoothie for you. Here's Mr Donaldson. Okay, so what we need for this dish today is some ripe bananas and I've got two or three there, okay? We need some two tablespoons of oats and some fresh strawberries and grapes. And finally, some skimmed milk. Slice up our bananas, okay? Really important here, keep our fingernails down and we just slice like that, just straight away, just slice. Okay. Now then, two tablespoons of the oat mix, strawberries, okay, again, just slice them up, chicken oil in, and the grapes, we're just going to cut them straight in half, of course, always remember, seedless. Now I have all of those ingredients into my jug, and you can use the alternative standalone blender, but for this one, we're just going to be using a hand one here, okay, and I'm going to pour all of that milk in there like that and then I'm going to put this and start off by just blitzing it nice and slowly okay so once you've nearly finished blitzing that occasionally you might get the odd lump of fruit in there which you just need to get on top of and then blitz it up like that okay I just had a floating strawberry there okay there it is it's broken all up now okay once you've done that okay what you need to do then is some caster sugar, okay, just a spoon, okay. Now then, as we say over here in England, cheers, mate. Cue the anthem. Delicious. 
That looks scrumdiddly unctuous. If you want to see the full recipe, go to the link that's on screen now. Every week, we want you to take part in our new competition, the Guzzler. It's simple. All you need is a 500ml bottle like this, and Guzzler it as fast as you can. So, Ollie, what's your record? Oh, it's like that fast, I couldn't even count Oh, it. yeah, yeah, that's right. Let's see one of our producers do it. Here's Joe in action. Three, two, one, go. Wow, that was pretty impressive. Yeah, it wasn't bad to be honest. If you think you can do better, send your video to the link on screen now. But remember, only 500 milliliters. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks, and thanks to all our guests. Come, Come on, England! England. <laughs>